How to control the pace of 100 freestyle. Most swimmers don't know how to control their swimming pace, especially if I ask them, what's your average pace in 100 freestyle? So in this workout, we're gonna know how to control our pace and how to work without getting oxidized while swimming. So the first exercise here is swimming 300 and breathing a little bit of, of epoxy every three strokes, five strokes, and seven strokes. And a flip, the turn, is like two strokes. So every lap, you're gonna continue from the start. The second exercise is only warm up. It's four times 50, increasing pace, but your goal is to control the number of strokes. I don't want you to swim with more strokes. It means if the first lap is 15 and the second lap is 16, the slow and the fast is gonna see is gonna be the same number of strokes. And now we're gonna start. First exercise is to control the 100. You're gonna do four times 100 with a send of time of 15 to 20 seconds rest. It means if your average pace in 100 is 136, your send of time is going to be 155. So you're going to try to see if you can control each 100 in 136. You're probably not going to succeed and it's okay, but try to control it. Then we're going to do 50 slow and after you didn't succeed exactly in 136 because you probably started the first 100 pretty fast like everybody does. So the second drill, you probably understand more. You know you're gonna control 136. It doesn't matter uh, what's your average pace, but you're gonna control it. And you're gonna try to swim all four 100 and send of time of 155 and try to swim exactly 136. It's not gonna be exactly, but you're gonna try. You're gonna do 50 slow and this time, it's not gonna be the average pace of 75%. You're gonna do four times 100. You're gonna try to swim in 136, but the send of time is gonna be 150. It means if you're going to succeed in 136, the average pace is not gonna be 75%. It's probably gonna go something like 80%. And then we're gonna do another 50 slow and another four times 100, but this time your send of time is 145. We don't know what's gonna be the average pace this time, but what I want you to understand is when the send of time or if we have less seconds to rest your pulse is going to be high and high but your goal is to control the number of strokes exactly like we did here another 50 slow and we're going to do the last four times 100. this time we're going to do exactly like the first exercise in this exercise even if you're a little bit tired you're going to succeed to swim in the exact same pace. Don't do, don't do this exercise only one time. Try to do it three times and you're, gonna, you're going to understand the amazing thing about swimming in the average pace of 75% and what's your average pace. Next time you're gonna learn about the accordion of 100.